back. We're a little over, what, three weeks away from Thanksgiving, and food pantries are preparing to feed even more families over the next couple of months. New tonight, CBS 13, Shantae Passmore is engulfed with one food pantry that's asking for more than canned goods this holiday season. At the Sunshine Food Pantry and Resource Center, this is where people go when they can't make ends meet. Hundreds of people rely on this food pantry to find their next meal, but soaring demand means it's running out of space. Every month, nearly 2,000 people can find their next meal inside the Galt United Methodist Church. Of course, I was a member here, so maybe that had something to do with it. <laughs> Since 2012, the church has housed the Sunshine Food Pantry and Resource Center. In the 13 years it's been around. The food pantry has never had its own facility. Costly food prices have only meant it's feeding more hungry mouths. The greater need is we're busting at the seams. It's a well-oiled machine, but it is a, a, a circus of activity for sure, and I don't see the need changing. That's why it's fundraising to construct a building to the tune of at least a million dollars. The work too important to be confined, and it's being recognized. And a week ago, a gentleman drove up here who I know quite well, and he handed me a card. Inside, the card read it was to be used for Thanksgiving. The food pantry said the envelope contained a thousand dollars. So we will be using that to make sure we feed all our people. While the pantry aims to feed people, it also wants them to feel at home. The fundraising committee says once it sells these lots, it'll have about $440,000, which also includes funding from the American Rescue Plan Act. It currently has a brick campaign where people can purchase bricks and dedicate them to loved ones, which will then become part of the overall building's design.